Are you ready? Beautiful and unbelievable chess puzzle solution. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to look together at one of the most beautiful studies I have recently saw. You know, it's why to move and win. I invite you to try to solve this puzzle. Just pause the video now, take your time and think it through. And then just play the video and watch the solution. Good luck, I believe in you. So let's see the solution. So what is this position? We have knight and a bishop and two pawns against two knights, bishop and four pawns. So the first question that we need to ask ourselves is what will be if we will promote the queen? But oh no, knight f7, it's a fork, king e7, just knight takes d8, king takes d8, and in this position, black should win this. Okay, maybe it will be not so easy, but of course white will not win it. So let's come back to uh, this position. And the first move is knight f6 check. Here, black has only two options. First of them is king g7 or king g6, because after king h8, we will promote our queen with check and this position is just totally over. So, let's start with king to g6. After king g6, we have the move just bishop h5, I think, also bishop c2 makes sense, but after bishop f5, just king f5, and promoting a queen and knight f7 not allowed because of this bishop right so king g6 is a very bad move after bishop h5 we are just uh, you know controlling the f7 square and just can promoting a queen so let's check king g7 the only move and now we will play the move knight h5 check here we have only one move for black because after king h8 or king g8 or king f8 we will promote our queen with check right as you can see in these particular uh, options just queen d8 check so only king h7 or king f7 right so after king h7 just bishop c2 check and the king will go to the eighth row and we will have promoting a queen with check so this is not really good for black and if he's playing the move king f7 just promoting the queen and that's it knight f7 not allowed right so we are up a queen and winning the game so king f7 is not also good so king g6 this is the move and as you can see the computer doesn't have any idea how white will win this position is just saying you know what black is just winning what do you want from me but no computer you don't know to calculate let's learn so here we will play the move bishop c2 check and now the only move for black is to take the knight right as we already saw that after king f7 we just promoting a queen without knight f7 check so king takes h5 and now we're promoting a queen very surprisingly, but let's see what is going on here. Knight f7 check, king e6. What a move! Knight takes d8 and king f5. What is going on? Wow! We are down two knights and three pawns, but we are winning the game. So, what is our threat? Bishop to d1, checkmate, right? Black must play the move e2. And now, just brilliant move, bishop e4. The point here is that we are, you know, threatening bishop f3, checkmate. The king cannot go anywhere. King h4, king g4, king g5, king g6 is not allowed. There is no checks for this king. So black must play the move promoting a knight because now bishop f3 is just a bad move because knight takes f3 but hey this position is winning for white but how we're down three pieces and two pawns let's see bishop to d5 what a quiet move here 
The point is that we would like to play bishop c4 and bishop e2 checkmate. Don't forget, this king cannot go anywhere. And don't think that this knight or this knight can go somewhere. Because if this knight is going to c2, d3, f3 or g2, bishop f3 will go to checkmate this king on h5. And also, this knight from d8, if he can go to b7, c6 or e6, or f7 of course, just bishop takes e6 for example, or bishop f7, checkmate. So these knights cannot go anywhere. This king cannot go anywhere. Only this pawn, this pawn, this knight and this bishop. Let's see. So black is playing the move c2. Wants to promote the queen and just winning the game. And now white is playing the move bishop to c4. Another very quiet move. Here, the threat is bishop e2 checkmate. For example, after promoting a queen, bishop e2 check, knight f3, and bishop takes, we checkmate on the board. So, in this position, the only way for black is promoting a knight. And now, he's covering the e2 square from the bishop. We are playing another quiet move. Bishop b5. It's just amazing. Bishop e8 is the threat we checkmate on the board. So what black will play? The only move, the only move that looking on this e8 square is knight to c7. But now we have a beautiful move. Bishop a4. And the point here is bishop d1. It's a checkmate threat. After c4, bishop d1, knight e2, bishop takes, knight f3, bishop takes, and white. Checkmated, black, and won the game. So after bishop a4, there is nothing to do. For example, knight e2, just bishop d1, and the next move will be bishop takes e2. So the game is just over. This king is just beautiful here. Nobody can just move it from there. The bishop on b4, the knight on d8, or and the knight on c7 just can't do nothing. Unbelievable. So bishop a4, for example, another option is to play knight f3, bishop d1, knight e2, bishop takes, knight e6, knight d6, bishop f3, checkmate. There is nothing to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, after bishop a4, it's just a checkmate in three moves. Can you believe it? One bishop and a king and a pawn just winning the game. If you like this video, just smash that like button. Subscribe my channel for more chess content. It was just unbelievable chess attitude. See you soon. Bye bye.